Hello everybody, my name is Nagura and today I got a handy guide for you about sailing in Lost Ark. The team over at Amazon Games have sponsored me to create this video, so big shout out to them and let's get straight into it. There's quite a lot to talk about when it comes to sailing in Lost Ark, but I will only go over the basics today to give you an overview of what you can expect. The first time you will encounter sailing will be after level 35 in East Lutera at Wave Strand Port. If you follow the main storyline, it will lead you there so you don't have to worry about missing it. Sailing is a requirement to travel between continents because the fast traveling system, also known as the triports, only work within the same continent. So in theory, you can use sailing exclusively for that purpose. However, if you want to go a little bit further with your sailing, it could be a satisfying solo play experience, as well as a way to give you more endgame rewards later on. For example, there are various islands you can only reach with sailing in Lost Ark. They each have their own unique quests and intriguing NPCs, and by completing certain activities related to the islands you are visiting, you will be able to collect valuables such as island hearts, which you can then exchange for cool rewards. So let's get started and set you up with the seven C's of sailing. Number one, collection. There are eight different classes of ship with different base stats and resistances. You can also upgrade your ships enhancing those attributes even further. The attributes give you a variety of different bonuses, including sailing speed, more durability for your ship, and all sorts of resistances. This will help you with the more hazardous waters of Arcacia, as some areas will be invaded by sirens or underwater algae, while others will have you facing severe storms. To safely navigate those, you'll have to choose the correct ship in your collection and pick out the right crew with the right attributes and skills. This brings us to our next C. The crew. Every ship has a crew. You will be able to carry more sailors with an upgraded ship. Each sailor comes with different stats, which is another way for you to tailor your ship for more specific needs. Some sailing crews, for example the Black Fang, even have special abilities. The main way to acquire sailors is by exchanging a specific ocean currency, but I will go into more detail about that later on. Number 3. Customize. Now you've got your ship and your crew, the most important thing before you set off is looking good. You can change the color of your sail or even unlock full reskins for a ship. Number 4. Currency. The currency you need to upgrade your ship and your crew is called Pirate Coins. Pirate Coins can be obtained through different kinds of activities during sailing. There are also various other coins you can obtain during sailing, but ultimately they can all be exchanged for Pirate Coins. You will find trading ships in each port where you can exchange your coins. So how do you get your hands on these coins and currencies? The answer to this is in the next point. Number 5. Cargo, Carp and Caches You will be able to sail wherever you want on the open ocean and find mainly four different kinds of activities to do. Fishing, recovering cargo, hunting for treasure and exploring sunken ships. All of the tasks are marked on the minimap, so you can sail there and explore it. Number 6. Contest. There are also timed sailing events. You can see the events by clicking on the clock in the top left of your screen, then click on the cogwheel and go to sailing. The sailing events take place in specific places and just require you to sail there during the time of the event. Once you get there, you have to complete four minigames similar to the four ocean tasks I mentioned before and you will be able to get rewarded with different kinds of sailing coins, and those coins can be exchanged for pirate coins or other rewards. Number 7. Care Ships also have health, displayed in the middle of your sailing interface. The health periodically goes down while you're sailing, and you should make sure to reach a dock before it reaches zero. If you don't repair your ship before it reaches zero durability, it will become much more expensive to fix, take more time and be unusable until it's fully repaired. If your ship isn't well suited for certain terrain, it will lose strength much quicker, so keep that in mind when sailing in dangerous waters. There's a red bar filling up to the right side of your sailing interface while sailing in dangerous terrain. If it fills up all the way, your ship will lose a big chunk of health, so keep that in mind. 
Tip, if you want to travel to an area and completely avoid those hazardous areas, you can manually set checkpoints and your ship will auto path to each checkpoint in order, completely avoiding any dangerous waters. I hope this guide helped you and you're ready to explore the open world of Lost Ark. If you want more information, then check out the link in the description below. Alright, thanks for watching and have a nice day. Goodbye!